the I-Team investigation on local school districts that are owed millions of dollars because property owners are delinquent on their property taxes. Tonight, Chief Investigative Reporter Craig Cheatham investigates other property owners who owe taxes and the impact it can have on the education of our children. In the village of Indian Hill, where mansions outnumber street signs, Rudolph Frank and his wife Mazzola built their $3 million dream home. But their dream has become a tax collector's nightmare. We've tried everything we can and uh, we're not getting payments. Hamilton County Treasurer Robert Gehring says during the last decade, state income tax collectors received three judgments for liens, totaling nearly $313,000. Gehring has referred the Franks' delinquent property taxes to county prosecutors twice since 2011, including a current case claiming the Franks owe $121,000 in delinquent property taxes. And so we're sort of at our last resort. Which is? The foreclosure. We would like to talk with you about that. The non-interside I-team left messages for Rudolph and Mazzola Frank, but they did not provide a comment for this story. It's sad that it's had to come to this. Treasurer Gehring says the county has about $50 million in delinquent property taxes. It concerns delinquent property taxes. The I-Team called several dozen property owners across the country who were identified by the treasurer as delinquent on their property taxes. Calling to talk with someone from Class Entertainment? According to the treasurer, Class Entertainment, which owns the Cove 51 nightclub in Sharonville, is delinquent on $19,000. If it's not paid within a few months, the treasurer says it will be referred to county prosecutors. Class did not respond to our request for comment. I am motivated both to get rich and I'm motivated to make the world a better place. Ed Renwick, the CEO of California-based Raineth Housing, told the I-Team his company owns 325 houses in Hamilton County and owes $600,000 in property taxes. Most of that is delinquent. We're not happy about it. It's, um, you know, we have invested, so we're behind in our taxes because uh, we're behind in our profitability. Raineth has negotiated payment plans for some of the delinquent property tax bills. In his 27 years as county treasurer, Gehring told the I-Team he's never seen a company like Raineth, one that owns so many houses and owes so much in delinquent taxes. Does that surprise you? Yeah, it, it really does, and uh, I appreciate you bringing that to uh, our attention. Most of the county's $50 million in delinquent property taxes should have been distributed to public school districts. Hello, Raccoon. The Norwood School District is owed nearly $900,000 of that money. Is that a lot of money? It is a lot of money. Kathy Sabo is the Norwood superintendent. There's a lot that could be done with $900,000 in programming, in support of students' needs, whether they be gifted, typical, or uh, special ed students. $900,000 can go a long way. Hope to hear back from you soon. In Hamilton County, Treasurer Gehring says property owners pay about $1.6 billion in property taxes. So while $50 million in delinquent taxes is a lot of money, it represents only 4% of all property owners, which he says is a lower rate than many large counties. We're lucky to live in Hamilton County. We really are. But the cost of delinquent property taxes is paid by all of us. Taxpayers spend more public money to collect it. Bear is sleeping for the winter. And more children are forced to wait for the tax money owed to their schools. Last week, the auditor's website identified the Federal Reserve Bank of Cleveland as being delinquent on $28,000 in county property taxes. A bank spokeswoman said the payment hadn't been made because it was coded incorrectly. The bank mailed a check for $34,000, the bill for the entire year, the day after we asked the bank for comment. Craig Cheatham, Nine on Your Side.